begin with, uh, how did you guys uh, end up forming? So, um, <laughs> we had a mutual friend, and we started jamming, and then after a while that turned into something we wanted to make happen on a, a more grander scale. And so Jared and I and my brother started Appalachian Still as a trio, and then we've evolved quite a bit over the years. Uh, how have you evolved over the years? I mean, I, I know you guys just celebrated 10 years not long ago as a band. That's quite an accomplishment, I mean, uh, to be a band that long and to, to evolve is, re is really great. Well, we've had a we have lots of arguments, but we always talk it out. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's true. It's important in any good relationship. And we've uh, had a... Oh, good. Yeah, it's, we started as a guitar, mm -hmm. uh, banjo, mandolin, trio, then added bass first, and then fiddle, and then drums, and had some bass players leave and change, and fiddlers leave and change, and... Nick came and played with us and then moved off to Montana for a while and then we coaxed him back and uh, And then I went to Colorado. Yeah. Oh, and then he went to Colorado. <laughs> and then I came back. He keeps trying to find himself, but we're pretty sure that he should just stay here with us. Uh, yeah. That's true. But we've been lucky to work with a good. lot of wow. great people over the years. There's so much talent in the valley. It's great to to be in a place like this where there is that much talent. So that was a uh, songwriting a group effort, or uh, are there a couple of main songwriters in the band? I would say I write most of the original songs. Jared also writes some, and it's the collaboration really happens on the arranging side of things. Generally, we'll have a mostly well-formed song come to the band, and then it's just a matter of arranging everything, and then everybody's involved. So. It, it seems uh, like you guys have a, a lot of different influences, a lot of bands that you like. Uh, I know you're, you're heavily influenced in bluegrass, uh, old time, but I, I also on your Facebook page it mentioned uh, classic rock is another influence. Can you tell me a, a little bit about that? We like to play classic rock tunes, and we don't, you know, it's yeah. it, it's it's at least as fun and maybe more fun to play them on you know acoustic Ooh. instruments like mandolin and banjo. Um, yeah. Jared and I try to slip in as many Grateful Dead tunes as we can, <laughs> so... It's true. We yeah. get in trouble for that a lot. <laughs> I don't think any of us are bluegrassers to start out with. We, you know, we kind of call our... If we have to say what we are, we say bluegrass, but the reality is is we play all sorts of things. We just happen to have this instrumentation, so... And we used to play... We started off playing pretty much just, like, old, old time timing. and some folk, folk tunes. And they were like, that's... Maybe there's a whole lot more music that we can play around with. Yeah. Do, you, do you ever get the, the urge to like cover like a Led Zeppelin song or bluegrass? <laughs> oh, yeah. Frequently, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. We get in trouble for being distracted at practices and starting to play things like Led Zeppelin songs. <laughs> uh, so uh, what's with new on the horizon? Do you, do you have uh, any albums in the works or uh, so, uh, new material coming forward? We, well, we've we just uh, entered some conversations about doing our next album, um, so we're trying to figure out what we would want to put on that. Um, we got a nice local show coming up on June 17th at the Parlor Room, um, and looking forward to a good summer. We got a, a handful of nice things already lined up, and yeah. All right, well, thank you guys so much for oh, playing. Wait, wait. Oh, we got to mention Jared's role. In oh, yeah, we do. We really do. So, so uh, your role, uh, you do a lot of the, you do all the sound here um, at, for sessions. And I mean, I mean, it must be really cool, like, uh, being able to take the stage now after being here so many times. Yeah, it's it, it looks different from this angle, I will say. Um, and it's nice to get the headphones off and you know, be up here ready to play. Uh, yeah. It's always interesting as a sound guy, you know, I of, often get stuck being the sound guy at our shows too for us if it's not a venue that is providing one. So I often have to wear both hats. So it's kind of nice to trade off and be on the performer side. And tonight I just have to hit a button and hope that I put things up in the right spot. And uh, <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> Maybe this will never air because it was really terribly done because there was no one doing it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, that's a good way to uh, start it off. Um, well, uh, thanks again uh, for the sessions, <laughs> and uh, feel free to start whenever you guys feel like it. Thanks. Great. Thank you.